Evening pickers. I, uh, the, the picking of the earlier Brinks R80 went so fast, the, the larger, the big brother of this one, I just decided to go ahead and open the package and try, try the little guy. Uh, again, the package is almost identical. It has max security. When, you know, we're starting to see this over and over. Max security is on all of Brinks products, and I'm wondering if maybe there's a minimum security stamp on something somewhere, but I doubt it. Uh, unlike the R80, this one has only four pins, and again it says pick resistant, and so far I've noticed a trend of Brinks to put a pretty good mix, I have to give them credit, of both security pins and normal pins, so it, it does keep you guessing as to what kind of pin that you're on, and you know, from a picking and a security perspective, I think that's a good thing, it's more of a challenge for us. Uh, hardened steel shackle, 5,000 pounds, so we're not going to be snapping that in our teeth. Um, if you look closely at that picture, you can see how these are employed. So it, you can see it would be kind of awkward to pick these if they were on a Reladen or a storefront. Anyway, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, here is the key, and here is the bidding. And it does not look to be much of a challenge. I mean, with a rake, we could apply all kinds of pressure, and we could probably rake this thing. In fact, uh, after we SPP it, maybe, maybe we'll just go ahead and give that a shot and see what happens. Anyway, the only difference between this and the other Brinks R80 is this one's just only 70 millimeters across. Everything else is virtually uh, identical, and like its big brother, this one is also made in you know where. Our favorite place. So let's see uh, if we can get this thing open. Uh, like its big brother, the R80, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, bottom of the, uh, the keyway. Try to use my thumb on there, and just like the other Brinks, there's a lot, an incredible amount of tension on this thing. And um, I'm having difficulty, uh, or at least I had difficulty on the R80, uh, I haven't opened this one yet, of um, finding that balance of tension, my overcoming that spring tension, and then when I put it in the R80, I had trouble finding the point at which I could find binding pins and not binding pins, and there was a kind of a delicate balance. Anyway, I'm gonna, I've just put my pick in, I'll apply a little bit of tension, trying to find that the sweet zone and on this these locks it's kind of hard to find and then I'm putting my pin on uh, my pick on the fourth pin and now we can start trying to find the uh, find the pin that will give us the false set okay we got a false set now I've noticed that on the R80 at least, when, I'm, when I have a false set, I have so much tension up there on my finger, on, in this case my thumb, that detecting that feedback is just a bear, it's really difficult, and I just, for training, I, I just can't see that these would be worthwhile. Okay, I got that fourth one set, felt like. Might have lost a little bit of my false set though. I'm going to try to go through here again. If I can find some more feedback. Oh, crap. It's open. It was open. There was so much spring tension, and the fact that my finger was wrapped around the hasp, my thumb wasn't putting enough pressure in order to overcome the tension between the hasp and my finger. So it was open this whole time after I picked that last one. Anyway, there you go, the R70, and since this hasn't taken very long, let's go ahead and lock this thing up. Because they didn't bother to pay a lot of attention to the, to the bidding, let's just see if I can rake this thing. Now, because the keyway on this is just a little bit restricted, uh, the rake I'm going to use this time is a little bit different. Um, it looks like a, a um, Bogota, or you know, a copy of the Bogota, actually. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit smoothed out. If I can put that up here, and you can see the the one on the top is the one I'm going to be using, and that's a uh, that one comes from a company called Sparrows, and it's kind of a unique uh, rake. I, I kind of like it, but uh, the it doesn't have as wide of a, a pin setting capability as the fake Bogota, but in this narrow keyway, we can't fit the regular Bogota. So in that case, these type of rakes come in handy. So let's see if we can find that sweet spot on the tension, and see if I can just get in there and break this dude. There we go. So here we have two security pins, two normal pins, and yet we're still able to rake the max security Brinks R70. So 
I can't recommend this either for either security use of any kind or really for training. I think it's kind of a worthless lock for training. Anyway, hey, thanks you for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.